an infinite energy beyond scientific understanding. Now, this energy has been transformed into a new weapon. in a calculated attempt unleashed the Hyperzornoi Team 5 on Sho and Tetsuo's school. Gyuro ordered them to retrieve the control metal, even if it meant the Giver's death. Sho, suppressing his fear, once again became the Giver to save his friends. The sudden appearance of Giver 3 forced the Hyperzornoids to retreat. Tetsuro and Mizuki were saved, but Mizuki discovered Sho's secret. The blood which I have designed and transfused into enzyme will surely dissolve the skin of the gyro. However, this dissolving effect loses potency when in contact with Slightly problematic. This deadly solvent must have a modus of travel. Therefore, to transport enzymes' blood effectively, I've developed several conduit extensions throughout the body which act as an extendable sprayer to dissolve your little problem. And how long will it be before you are finished? Sir, it could be finished by morning, but I feel it would be best if we had more time for enzymes' development. There is no time for further development. You must finish by dawn. Makashima's penalty is to become my tool for the pitiful exacting of his own revenge. But, Commander, it isn't safe to use a test subject. Hyperzoanoids should be used for the destruction of the Giver. Wrong. You have already failed me once in your efforts to kill him. This is why I have created Enzyme. And have you conveniently forgotten the threat of the third Giver? I don't have time for your foolish opinions. But, sir! Zector, I think it's about time you should calm yourself. I'm sure the Commander Gyo's superior strategy would never involve using the test subject as a sole operative. Enzyme alone, at this stage of development, could never withstand against two Givers and their combined might. Of course you know, Zector, that Gyo's plan will include you and your fine ability. You... Agito is correct. Take his friends as hostages. Enzyme will take care of the Giver. And if the third Giver should appear once again, Zector, then I will allow you to take revenge for your fallen comrades. As you wish it, Gyo. Akito, distract show in the morning while we gather our selected bait. Sir, consider it done. <sighs> ah, our futures look brighter when the young are born so cold-hearted.
Dear father, remember our talks together. You said he who wields power wisely controls the world. It seems that you now have lost that control to a somewhat wiser man. And I leave you as the monster you always were. Show? I... I'm fine. Well, I just thought that after what happened yesterday, that you... I mean, it's impossible for you to have... Ah, uh, never mind. Come inside, Sho. No, I can't. I just had to check on you and... Hey, and... Sho. Listen, please don't worry about my sister. She's fine. We both are. She understands. I told her everything about the Giver. Come on. I can't come inside, because they'll come after you again. And besides, I have to go check on our friends. Well, take care. I'll call you. Show! No, stop! Hey, come... Back. I can't ever go back. How can I protect them from what I am? Welcome to the Double Morning Show. Thank you for tuning in. The top story today involves another terrorist bombing. But I think that the bigger issue here is the problem with the building codes and the poor construction of our schools. I think so, too. Let's take a look now. Fortunately, very few students were hurt since it was after school hours. It's a lie. They're dead. It can't. It can't be true. You must believe me, Mizuki. There is a Kronos. Even this disaster at the school won't help. We tried to expose them, and they killed Takasato! And the news will do nothing but cover it up. All they'll report again is that it's another freak accident or some terrorist bombing. Tetsuro, you're lying! He was right. It can't be true! Hey, Mizuki! Hold on. Huh? <laughs> Mizuki, get out! Hey, Sho, why don't you come on over? We're just sitting around playing some video. Oh, forget about school. It's closed. Monsters? What the hell are you talking about? You're always saying the same stupid things. You idiot! Don't you remember the attack on the school and the zoonoids? Well, I thought I was the sick one. I haven't been to school for the last week and a half. What kind of crack is that? I don't believe it. He hung up. Who did? He's nuts. Of course not. I didn't stay after school. I told you I was going shopping. Did you forget? Sho, you're sounding really weird. Just try to relax and get a hold of yourself. Shit, they don't remember. Kronos has somehow brainwashed every single one of them. Yeah? Who is it? Mr. Fukumachi, it's Akito Makashima. I've called five times! As you know, the school has been closed because of the accident. The administration is unsure when it will reopen. However, as members of the student council, we should do our best to help them. We should meet at the school. Yeah, if you want, I can meet you there, room 235, 12 noon. Hey, Akito, just wait a minute. I have to ask you something. I'm sure it can wait. We can talk later. I knew Mizuki wouldn't come. There. As I've indicated on the board, the school will reopen on October 24th. We must do our best to reassure the students that they will be safe. Meeting adjourned. Have a nice day. Thank you. Goodbye. 
Mr. Fukumachi. Huh? What exactly was it that you wanted to talk about over the phone? Agito, can you tell me where you were yesterday while the explosions were going on? Of course, I was here at the school. What? Then you know that it was more than an explosion. <laughs> we both know it was. <laughs> huh? Remember? I watched you as you fought against the Hyperzoanoid Team 5. Hmm? What do you mean? I remember it well, Guyver. It's too bad many of your friends will believe that you were insane. Their memories of the incident have been wiped clean, Mr. Fukumachi. Makashima, how could you know that? Who are you? Kronos. Makashima! Should have known. You probably thought Kronos was simply a secret organization, but we are very public. Classmates, politicians, ambassadors. It is an international community all linked through the clandestine operations of the Kronos Corporation. A simple matter like the attack on the school is easily covered when key positions in the media and the police are controlled by us. We're everywhere, we're everyone. The Earth is now within our grasp, a possession of Kronos. And now, Mr. Fukumachi, we have... You. And you're a fool if you think you can ever get away. <gasps> and you should know this. You are like a wild animal lost within our city, waiting to be snared. An animal far stronger than humans, but one who can never adjust to its new world. Lost and howling, wandering aimless. Looking for your own kind. But the city is your cage and Kronos your keeper. Your only avenue of escape is to embrace you death. son of a bitch! You won't! Never! It is foolish to resist us. You think you can survive, but your true opponent is the enemy within. You think I'm caught, but I'm free to fight! I will never give up my life and surrender to Kronos! Oh yes, you will. I will fight you to protect the lives of my friends! Is that so? Even when your friends' lives depend on your cooperation? Where are they? What have you done? <laughs> you bastard! Where have you taken Mizuki and Tetsuro? <laughs> They've been taken to Mount Narisawa where this all began. You remember, Sho, where you first became the Giver, and if you don't hurry, they intend to kill them at three o'clock. <laughs> oh. oh. I knew I should have stayed with them. Even staying away couldn't protect them from Kronos. And Agito was one of them all along. Mizuki, Tetsuro, they were the only ones I could depend on. And now they could die because of me. What? What's the matter? This is where Sho and I were that day. Where the explosion took place and Sho touched the unit and transformed into the Giver. This is where it all started, Mizuki. Wrong, kid. It started long before that when Malmut stole the units from Kronos, Japan. That was the day your misfortune began. Only fools wishing for their deaths ever dare to meddle in the affairs of Kronos. <laughs> Shut up. Elegant, you talk too much. Sector. They're already dead. He's coming. <laughs> Keep back! Let them go! Guyver, just in time. Get back! It's a trap! You know they'll kill us anyway! Don't hurt him! I said let them go! You have nothing to fear from the Hyperzoanoid Team 5. Fear instead him! Who is that? The former head of Kronos, Japan. Until three days ago, that is. What do you mean? And it's all your fault, Guyver. 
It's you who are responsible for this. And now I'm here to destroy you as you have destroyed me. away my position and everything I had worked for. Now, die! It's melting my armor. You can no longer use the Mega Smasher Diver. My Zoanai body was not developed to completion. I have only one week to live unless they finish the process of adjustment. I can never again become human. I was the head of a powerful corporation, and now I have been transformed into a monster, and it's your fault. And for that, for that, you will die, Diver! he will destroy the Giver. He was born only to kill him. Exactly as I have planned. You are always correct, Commander. Makashima's rage over what he's become was all I needed to finally kill the Giver. My chest plate isn't healing fast enough, and the only way I can defeat him is with the Mega Smasher. If only I had more time. <laughs> It's a pressure cannon which contains a gravity weapon. I'm surprised the kid knew how to use the thing. Enzyme has failed. It's time for us to move. even with half its head blown apart. It's still able to fight. The Giver's dying too quickly, and I need Giver 3 to appear for my revenge. Giver 3, why haven't you responded? You said we could communicate through the organism on our backs. Why won't you answer, Giver 3? I need your help. It's too strong. Time to die. Oh my god! Now I'll have my revenge, you son of a bitch! Enzyme, retrieve the control metal without damage. Without the control. 
Superman. He'll disintegrate, just like Kyber too. No, he'll die! It's killing him! Stop! That's it. Show. Suki. Good. Back to Kronos. Uh, it can't be. The Giver can't be alive. You were useful to me, Enzyme, but no more. Farewell. Enzyme's corrosive blood will dissolve what's left of your friend's show. Too bad we didn't destroy Gyber 3 as well. It's finished. <laughs> show! mechanism. With the control metal in our power, we will have no problem with Giver 3. I want a thorough examination of the control metal. Begin at once. Bastard, let go of me! <coughs> you killed Sho, I swear I'll kill you for that! Bastard, I'll kill you, you murderer! You're mistaken. My hands are clean. I had nothing to do with killing him. Enzyme just had a particular grudge against your friend, but his fate was inevitable. Correct, Makashima? <gasps> what are you doing here? Agito, you can't be involved with them! Let me introduce you to one of our elite. Makashima, son of Kronos. It can't be true. Agito, what kind of zoonoids do you think they'll make? I don't think we should do anything with Tetsudo at the moment. He may have information which can be useful. And what about the girl? <laughs> She's of no use to us at all. The bait no longer serves any purpose once the fish has already been hooked. Shima, don't let them do this! Asleep! I'm lost in a nightmare! No! Agito! All the pieces are in place, and it's my game.
Sho Fukumachi. The Giver is dead. The control metal is now in the possession of Cronus. Has the devil defeated our strange angel? The control metal will cause a miracle to happen at Cronus Japan. What is the mysterious power of the control metal? Find out in the next episode. Terminal Battle. The Fall of Cronus Japan.